Hey you guys, it's Jessica with Life of a Mom. Tonight I tried something different with dinner. I attempted <laughs> to make spicy buffalo cauliflower bits that were baked in the oven. We don't eat a lot of meat around here ever. Um, sometimes I make my husband meat, like tonight. I did put chicken on the grill for him, so he had an alternative. He didn't have to eat baked cauliflower <laughs> if he didn't want to, but um, I do not really offer our kids a lot of meat. We try to get protein in them in other ways, which I know that I've talked about before. But tonight I tried the crispy buffalo cauliflower bits. I guess they're supposed to mimic like boneless wings. I think that they were good, but I really like vegetables. My five-year-old took one bite, spit it out, and my three-year-old refused to have it on her plate. My husband, ate five or six pieces, but he also ate all of his chicken. I think if I would have made him more chicken, he probably would not have touched the cauliflower. Or maybe he was just trying it to be really nice to me. So anyways, I'm gonna insert some pictures so you guys can see step by step what I did. I just bought a fresh raw head of cauliflower and I cut it up. Then I mixed a cup of flour, a teaspoon of salt, pepper, cayenne pepper, and garlic powder. Then I mixed that up. I added a half cup of milk and a half cup of water and I mixed it up again. I dredged the cauliflower. I spread all the cauliflower that was coated in the mixture on a pan lined with parchment paper. I baked it for about 20, 25 minutes on 425 degrees. I flipped it halfway through. Then I mixed a cup of buffalo sauce. I use off-brand sauce because I'm super cheap. <laughs> But you can use any kind of hot sauce, buffalo sauce, whatever you want. I put mine in the microwave with about a tablespoon of butter to make it just a little bit creamier. I stirred it, stirred it, and then I tossed all the cauliflower pieces in the buffalo sauce, spread it back onto my parchment lined pan, and I baked it at 425 for 30 more minutes. And I flipped it a couple of times. It did not get as crispy as I wanted it to or that I thought that it would. I, I could have left it in longer, but my husband's chicken was done. He was at the table. The kids were at the table and everybody was eating everything and the cauliflower was still in the oven. So I didn't really time dinner very well tonight for working an hour and a half on dinner because the kids kept stopping me. And I also grilled up some potato wedges and stuff and chicken for my husband. So everybody else was eating before my cauliflower was even out of the oven. So... <laughs> That, I don't know if that's a dinner fail or not. I guess it is. I ate everything. Oh, whoops. I was also the last one still sitting at the table eating. And my daughter's sitting eat their potato wedges, so I got to eat those too. Which probably isn't fantastic, and I shouldn't be bragging about it. Because I started counting calories today to try to lose weight. Let's see. I weigh... Oh my gosh, I guess that's eight pounds now because I gained five pounds over Thanksgiving. Five. But I ate like a whole bag of Christmas candy that I meant to be um, stocking stuffers. I ate a whole bag of mints and chocolates. Whoops. I guess my husband helped a couple, but.
but not the whole bag. That was mostly me. That's okay. I'll just lose it now, right? So anyways, I downloaded an app. I'm going to just keep track of calories. I have no intention of working out if I don't absolutely have to. I used to run every single day. I have a really nice jogging stroller. I was running in the springtime a lot, pushing my kids in the stroller, and that sucked because I was pregnant too. And <laughs> um, So anyways, I'm about eight pounds heavier now than I was when I first got pregnant with our first daughter, who is now over five. So... While I'm not that much heavier, I definitely look different. I carry my weight a lot different, and I don't have as much muscle. I have definitely got more fat, hence the um, cauliflower for dinner. And I figured, since we didn't really mix that much bad stuff in with it, it's vegan. I used almond milk instead of real milk in the mixture. I figure it wasn't really that bad of a dinner. Some grilled potatoes and cauliflower bits. Could have been worse. We definitely had worse dinners. So that's my life of a mom story for today. And I will periodically check back and let you know how my weight loss is going or if it's a total flop and I super fail. But I mean, I've weaned and I'm not pregnant, so there's no reason to not be losing weight or just get back to being a little bit healthier. I don't really know that the numbers on the scale mean as much to me as feeling good in my body and that's that's kind of what I want to focus on now it's just feeling good about myself again because being a mom you focus on everybody else 110 percent of the time I almost never get to focus on myself I definitely let things go that I need to do like today look I'm like breaking out I don't know if it's stress or what. My face is like all red and blotchy without makeup on. I just needed a couple of days without makeup to let my face air out. I feel really gross. So I just didn't want to cake on like foundation stuff to cover it up. And what am I doing today? I cleaned up the house a little bit. I played with my kids, took my daughter to school and picked her up. I didn't have anybody to impress today. I didn't see anybody important. Oh, well, my husband, but he's, that's okay. He doesn't wear makeup. So, <laughs> I guess it's okay if I go a couple of days without me. <laughs> I'm not even sure I put deodorant on this morning, but I did straighten my hair and I colored it. But I think I'm going to go back like super blonde again. I don't know if I like it, this like mildly darker color. My roots are still way darker. I was just trying to fill in all this blonde when I colored it last week to be a little bit different, but... I don't know if I like it. I feel like it's really dull. It's a really dull color. And the lighting in here is kind of sucky right now because it's late. It's like seven something. Oh my gosh, I'm super old. I just said it was late and it's like seven o'clock. <laughs> what I mean to say is it's really dark outside. So I'm not getting a lot of natural light in the house, which is what I usually use to do my videos. But anyway, I will be back again in a couple of days probably. I'm going to finish up some of the signs and growth charts that I've been working on and I have some videos in the works. I know I haven't been posting a lot lately but I have some stuff that I'm actually working on like here behind the scenes and struggling to get pieced together for you guys. So I'll see you in a couple of days with I guess a surprise topic video. It could be anything. <laughs> Bye.